Here we go, 2016 D case assortment. Thank you for turning into another Race Crews unboxing video. Let's see what we have inside. Now, this is the types of videos that you post a suggestion or two of cars that come out of this case for track time. They have to be in this case, and then when I do track time with the models in this case, uh, you might get picked for a shot up. I pick 16 cars, do track, or 16 cars usually, do track time, come back to the comments, and look for someone to get a shout out. So, watch and enjoy. Post a suggestion or two for track time, and you might get a shout out. Here we have Hover Storm in light blue, new color. The Corvette Stingray was in the last case assortment. Underneath we have the custom 15 Ford Mustang. Now these are the uh, international packages, so there will not, I only, I point to the red because that makes it easy to know. That's the easiest way to know it's an international card. The other way to know is that it has multiple languages so that these can be sold in multiple countries. The USA long cards will have English on them. Here we have pedal driver and stock car and Cadillac El Mirage. I think I need to turn down my light on the left. It's a little bright. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I just have that light on the left to try to cast a, a light on the uh, name right here, make it easier to see. Uh, now I turn it down too far. Fangster, another Nissan Fair Lady Z. Nice to see it carrying over from the C case to the D case. And the cases are just a Mattel's inventory code, almost monthly, so they know how old the case is. Nissan Fair Lady Z. And we have the Formulator in green with the glow-in-the-dark wheels. Okay, turned it up just a little bit. Hopefully that'll uh, balance it out to where it's uh, not too much, not too little. Hey, I can see the names better now underneath. Not too much glare. Let's see. Yeah, it's still there. Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile. I'll just have to make sure I angle it. At, uh, so the light doesn't hit it. In that gunmetal gray that I really like, here's the Ford GT, which is the, actually the Ford GT LM. And as people commented, yeah, it has a solid wing now, instead of it being a separate plastic piece, as it was years ago. Humvee, it's a plastic model car, metal base, plastic body. Let's look at those three. Here we have Chill Mill. It says fresh milk, chill milk. Yeah, it's a milk delivery truck. 66 Ford 427 Fairlane. Carrying over, thankfully. Beautiful paint job, as I have said in a couple of cases. Turbine time in like a uh, pinkish color. Dogzilla in red. That was actually newly introduced in the C case, so now it carries over. Chevy Camaro concept and the stock car. Great track car, that stock car. And uh, Camaro Concept, mm, I don't remember how well he does. Beautiful in red, like that Jaguar. You have the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Yep, and that circle, the cars really like that. It uh, has a white circle on the side. Hey, there you go, 15 Dodge Charger SRT. Like that uh, Decos, makes it very sporty. Check that out, just simple. It says SRT on the hood right there. No headlight tampos, no tail light. Just got the nice uh, stripes on the side. Does it have a, on the back here, Dodge, it says Dodge and a Hot Wheels Flame logo. Nice wheels, blacked out, so this way the accent is on the car, or the emphasis is on the car itself. Aston Martin 1963 DB5. Beautiful in red, I've been collecting every color so far. Toyota Supra. This guy's been around several cases. Keep selling. Uh, I don't see him on the pegs too much. The custom Ford Bronco. Take a look at that. Is it part of the flames? No, uh, HW Daredevil. But it's got flames on it. Pretty, pretty good looking. And uh, X Racers Cloak and Dagger. See, Cloak and Dagger is uh, still in the mix. Been for a few cases now. Fun model for uh, adult collectors, but more so for kids, probably. Here you have the Volkswagen Caddy. This is a new model right here. We'll take a look when we come back at him. HW Formula Solar and Monta Racer. He's been in the sort of array. VW Caddy was shown in a previous video. 
And let's take a look at the HW Green Speed. See, these are battery-powered uh, vehicles. There's already been a couple. Do you know them? I know the white one off the top of my head. I can't think of the name, though. Check out those wheels. Skinny wheels. These, I think these are brand new wheels. First time I've seen these wheels. Pretty cool looking. See, they're skinny wheels. Not too many models with all four skinny wheels. I wonder if that's going to help them on the downhill racing. Less, less of a footprint. Less touching the track. Should be uh, faster on the track. Mm, if I do a downhill racing track time, he would be one that I would definitely want to pick to check out. Uh, it says track star, so he'll work in the boosters as well. This is not this is this is not a good thing here though, because if you notice, it's hard to see. There's no fender protection from the booster in the front, so that when he comes into the booster, that booster is going to kind of grab the wheel right here. And look, no fender protection in the back. So he might work really well in the boosters, loops, and curves at first, but after a while, I think those wheels are going to get a little wobbly from being uh, bent through the boosters. But that's after time. I'm not saying it'll happen immediately, but it, it will happen after time. There you have Fangster again in green. Here's the uh, Honky Donk. What do they, donk? What do they call these cars that were lifted? I forgot. Donks? Olds 442 W30. That was more of a Florida thing from what I read. Seen them a little bit in California with the lifted cars. 2015 Ford Mustang GT. And we have the stripes on the hood. No front or rear decos. And this one has uh, nice decos all over. The top, the rear, the sides. Wow, he, how come he gets lots? Oh, because technically the top is one side and this is another side. If it were front and rear, that would be a different size. But because these are all on top, counts as one print area for manufacturing purposes. Hey, Bentley Continental Super Sports. Look, he finally got Tampos. He was, when he was released before, I don't remember this. It was very, hardly any Tampos when this was re released before. I remember, I think, white and blue. Uh, I believe those are the two colors so far. I showed this one, Nitro Tailgater, in the previous case. It looks fantastic. This thing is just shiny with that bright orange and that fluorescent. Now, here's a new model. You got Z Rod. And when this appears on a U.S. card, it's going to say New for 2016 right here. But worldwide cards do not have that. Z Rod. I don't know how they give it that name. Interesting name. I bet you guys know why they gave it that name. Pretty cool uh, engine. It says Track Stars on the package. So it says it works on the track, but again, open wheeler, it's not one that I'm going to want to put through the boosters a whole bunch. It's going to get wobbly. But uh, what can I say? I don't put the, I don't classify them as uh, track stars. Mattel, that's uh, their job. Muscle speeder, this is pretty cool. When I first seen pictures of this online, I thought, hey, clear speeder's back. And then I seen the name muscle speeder. So, well, it looks the same. But if you remember clear speeder, it was kind of like a work in progress. And the fenders were missing and stuff. But uh, hey, this completes the car. So if you have a if you get a comparison picture of the this with uh clear speeder, uh tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. Here we have Dodge Ram 1500. Huge <laughs> big truck. Look at the difference in the package. So look at twice as big. Nice truck. Mm, I pick up a couple colors. Uh but since they're not track compatible, I tend to not have extras. There's a couple. 14 Corvette Stingray. This is going to be a super. I think this might be the super in the D case. You're going to look for it. The paint's not, not a whole lot different because it's hard to tell. But the wheels definitely have uh, rubber tires. That's, you, that's how you know it's a super. I don't know if it says TH on the superized version of this model here. The 14 Corvette Stingray. Happy hunting and good luck with that. I found, uh, I was at Walgreens, I found myself a super Tesla Roadster. I posted a picture of that on uh, Instagram. I don't find supers very much in the stores, kind of hard. Chill, Mill, you gotta go when they put them on the pegs. Hey, 67 Aust Aston Martin minivan. I found this in a three pack. I thought, oh, maybe that's gonna be a three pack exclusive, but apparently not. Thankfully, it's gonna be in the single, so this way you don't have to buy a three pack to get it if you want it campbell's garage nice to see him back very nice 
I had to run and get the three pack since it was just in the other room. There it is. So uh, same five spoke wheels, same decos. So if you see this in Walmart or wherever three packs are sold in your area, then uh, maybe wait to see if you can get in the single or, you know, you get this one. And then you'll also get the uh, pedal driver in orange. And guess who that is right there? Pedal driver in orange, same model. But this uh, purple Shark Cruiser might be exclusive. It might be a multi-pack exclusive. Only time will tell. I don't know right now what future releases are going to be. There you have Street Cleaver in rather an authentic uh, Caterpillar color, if you know what I'm talking about. Pedal driver in orange and another Muscle Speeder. Another 15 Dodge Charger SRT. So I don't mind using them in track time because I got a couple of them. Sometimes if I only have one in the case, I wait till I get an extra to give them track time. Toyota Supra again, and also the Corvette Stingray. Matter of fact, this one here, the same thing, talking about multi-packs. Here you have the Mild to Wild series, right? Mild to Wild. One of them is going to be like a tame version, and then the other version is going to be souped up. Hang on, I got to run to the other room again. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. There you go. There is this version. And then coming to the singles, it's going to be this version. So this will be the wild version of a Corvette. So that will be nice to get in the singles. Fantastic color. Just a presentation. Now that casting itself, to me, it looked like it got big buck teeth because of those headlights. But I know people are for fans of this model. That's right. You buy what you like, buy what you enjoy. But uh, this one's great to pick up, and so is that other one. By the way, when I get with to get the multi packs, talking about this, and the Shark Cruiser might be a, a multi pack exclusive. I did find them in this pack too, so I don't know if this is going to be exclusive. This one here, maybe all three of these are going to multi pack exclusives. I don't know. Time, uh, time will tell. HW Rapid Responder. Here's in a previous case. There you have Loopster. And down version should be hands up versions too As a matter of fact i've seen this in multi-pack so now i know that it's in the singles very good I, want, I don't have to pick up a three pack just to get this color and here we go 41 willie he's been around for a little while i even used him for the thumbnail for the uh, c case unboxing video here you have the d muscle by the way if you miss an unboxing video i've put the link to the playlist down in the description so you can check to see what you might have missed as far as previous previous case assortments speed dozer and again another hover storm both in light blue he's, he's got quite a this guy's quickly he has quite a few colors uh, in the assortment on the back hot wheels interesting uh, temple there very nice and d muscle this is the uh, year of the monkey i think it is for the uh, chinese years I think it goes this way. I see the Hot Wheels flame logo. So maybe it's supposed to go like this. Correct. You're the monkey. And does the 16 have anything to do with uh, that? Hmm. What should I say with that? It's not uh, astrology with that uh, Chinese blah, blah, blah. You tell me. Sorry, I don't know. I shredder. Not so good. I tried him in a downhill track. It actually did not bad, but... Doesn't even fit in the boosters, right? It goes right through the boosters. So skinny. Boosters can't even grab them. Mad props. This is kind of a fun model to collect. It's kind of realistic. You know, it's like a little uh, vintage fighter plane. Very nice decos on this one. Very realistic. I like that. Here you have a custom 15 Ford Mustang for you Mustang collectors. Here you have Formulator again. Another one. Glow in the dark wheels. 90 Acura NSX and HW Rapid Responder. Great Gatsby in yellow. He was in the C case. He was in, when he first came out though, you know, he was in chrome. Now he's in yellow. Here's another Bentley Continental Super Sport for Fairlane again. And the Batmobile, Arkham Knight Batmobile. Getting down to the end, I got no super. I'm gonna have to go back. I don't know if I missed the if it had a basic treasure hunter. I just missed it. I have to go back and look. This time I wasn't playing around. Sometimes I just zip right past the uh, treasure hunt and wait for you guys. You missed the treasure hunt, but I'll go back and I'll look through it and I'll find it if there was one. Or maybe it's still in here. I don't know. Dogzilla clear speeder and the Volkswagen Caddy. 
There's Z Rod. Oh yeah, fantastic. DK, right? Yeah, DK. Very good. Very happy that this is carrying over into the D case. So if you missed it in the C case, it's in the D cases as well. Another Z Rod and Aston Martin 1963 DB5. And yeah, that's a gas spot, gas cap. Thank you very much for those people who were friendly and helped me and said, yeah, that's a gas, gas tank. For those of you who are rude, maybe you're not around anymore. Chevy Camaro Concept. Another Nissan Fairlady Z. Fantastic. And here we have the uh, turbine time. And down to the last three. I'll go back and look. Uh, I'll have to add on. If there was a uh, basic treasure hunt, I'll have to add it on at the end. Let's see, here we have Monte Racer, Cadillac El Mirage again, and the Ford GT. But it says GTLM on the base. Well, I went through the whole case. I did not find any treasure hunt, but I did check eBay, and I found a seller on eBay with the uh, Dodge Charger SRT8. Now, that's probably the treasure hunt for the D case assortment, so I wish you luck. Wait a second, a seller from Malaysia. Hmm, let's see. Made in Malaysia, you don't think, uh, well, maybe. Bye-bye.